going to be working through some basic algebra. This is what you can expect to learn in grade 9 term 1 and it's a really good foundation for all the algebra that you can do through the rest of high school. So let's get straight into this. So given the following expression, we've got this expression here. Okay, so an expression is a group of terms like this. Sorry, that highlights is not working great. That is our expression. Um, what is the degree of the expression? So the degree of an expression is always what is the biggest exponent that we've got in there. Okay, so the degree is the biggest exponent. You can see our biggest exponent here is x to the 5. So this is a fifth degree expression. Um, and then b, what is the coefficient of x4? So these are just words we need to get used to using. So the coefficient is always just what number is front of is in front of x4. So we can see we've got minus 4 in front of the x4. And remember to keep the minus, that's really important. Um, are there any like terms in the expression? So are there any terms, like are there two x's or two x squareds? Or we don't have any like terms here, okay? So it would be um, if you had values with the same exponent. Okay, so for example, if you had an x and a 2x, those would be like terms, but we don't have any of those. So we are just going to say no. Then question D, how many terms are there in the expression? We would just have to count how many terms there are. So we have got here, yeah, let's get a pen. We've got one two, three, four, five terms in this expression. Okay, E, what is the value of the constant? So the constant is always just the number without any x's or any variables. So the value of the constant here is, we're just going to put negative 11. And then F, if x is minus 3, what is the value of the expression? Okay, so what that means is wherever there is x, we are going to put in minus 3. So let's write the expression first. So we've got 3x to the power of 5 minus 4x to the power of 4 plus 8x squared plus 10x minus 11. And now they say x is negative 3. So wherever there's x, we're going to put negative 3. So we are going to say 3 negative 3 to the power of 5, minus 4, negative 3 to the power of 4, plus 8, negative 3 squared, plus 10, times negative 3, minus 11. Oh, sorry. And then you would just work that out. So you'd probably be able to just use your calculator for that, um, but we can work it out. So Let's see, 3 to the power, let's work this first term out. Okay, 3 to the power of 5 is 243. So that's going to be 3, negative 243, minus 4 times, let's see, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Then 3 squared, that's going to be 8 times 9. 10 times minus 3, minus 11. Okay, so we've worked out all those um, exponents now, all the powers. Now we can just do the working out. So let's go 3 times 243. That is going to give us negative 729. Okay, remember because it's a positive times a minus. Then we've got 4 times 81 is 324, so minus 324. 8 times 9 is 72. 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, and that's going to be negative 11. And then you would just work that all out, plug that into your calculator. That's why I say I don't think you would have to do this by hand. You could work this out with the calculator. Let's see. Minus 324, add 72, minus 30, minus 11. And so we're going to get 
minus 1022. Okay, then if we look at question two, we've got lots of expanding and simplifying. Okay, so expanding and simplifying, that just means multiply out all the brackets and then simplify, add all the terms that you can, subtract all the terms that you can. So I'm not going to do all of these, um, but I will do a few so we get an idea. So let's do A, we've got minus 3 x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus 4x times x plus 7. Okay, so when we are expanding brackets, we need to multiply everything in front by everything inside. So we're going to go minus 3 times x squared, so minus 3x squared. Minus 3 times minus 4x is going to be positive 12. So minus times a minus makes a plus. And x minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. Then in this bracket, we've got minus 4x times x. So that's going to be minus 4x squared. Minus 4x times 7 is going to be minus 28x. Okay, so that is our expanding part then. So that's just multiplying out. And then we have to um, simplify. So we have to add up the like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the like terms. So x squared, let's do all the x squared terms. So we've just got these two. So we're going to sort those two out. So minus 3x squared minus another 4x squared is minus 7x squared. Let's see what we've got next. Let's do all the x terms, so minus 28x and positive 12x. So that means we've got 12x, take away 28. Um, or you could go 28, take away 12, whichever is easier. So 28, take away 10 is 18, take away 2 is 16. So that means we're going to have minus 16x. And then finally, we've got our constant, so minus 15. And that is our final answer there after we've expanded and simplified. Okay, let's have a look at maybe a challenging one. So let's look at L. Um, if there's any others that you see that you want me to give a go, let me know. So in question L, sorry. We have got 125 m cubed minus 15 m squared divided by 5m minus 3m times 7m plus 9. Okay, and I'm actually going to make this bigger so we can do this one. So um, in this one, we have got to sort out first the fraction and then the bracket part. We can do them separately. Okay, so if we sort out this fraction, what I would say is we can actually, you can separate this fraction. So you could rewrite it. There's a few ways of doing it. I would do it like this, 125m3 divided by 5m minus 15m squared divided by 5m. So it's exactly the same thing. We've just written them separately. And then for this bracket, I'm going to expand that. So let's expand 3m. So minus 3m times 7m is minus 21m squared. And minus 3m times 9 is going to be minus 27m. Then we can sort out these fractions. So 125, we can divide it by 5. So 125 divided by 5 would give us 25. And m3 divided by m is going to give us m2. It's going to be left over. Okay, the next expression, 15 divided by 5 is going to be 3. m squared divided by m is just going to leave us with m. Okay, the, for these ones, you use your exponent laws. So basically, when you do the division, so m3 divided by m, what you actually do is you say m3 minus 1. Same here, m squared divided by m. What you do is you go m squared minus 1. 
Okay, so that's what we do, the is exponent laws. Um, anyway, let's carry on. So we've got minus 21m squared, minus 27m. And now we have to just sort out the like terms. So here I've got 25m squared minus 21m squared. That is going to leave me with 4m squared. And then minus 3m minus 27m is going to be minus 30m. And that is my final answer there for that one. Um, I really hope this video helped. Like I said, I can go through any of the other questions if you have.